All right. In today's program, I will teach us structural break in econometrics. Okay. All right. Um, let's say a time series. A time series. Sometimes. A time series sometimes may have an unexpected may have an unexpected shift or change. All right. This unexpected This unexpected shift or change in the, in the time series um, may lead to a huge forecasting error. May lead or cause may lead to a large Forecasting error. All right. Okay, so we, we, we said that the, the model, the model where such sharp shift or the model where such a such a sharp shift occurs is said or believed to be unreliable. All right. Okay, so we said the model we are such a sharp shift occurs is what unreliable. Okay. Now let us explain in details what the concept structural break means in econometrics. I will say in econometrics, a structural change or break, a structural break or cause. When the movement or the trend, when the movement in a particular series or given series, when the trend or movement in a given series or time series is truncated or distorted. Unexpectedly. Okay, we see that in econometrics, a structural break or change shifts occurs when the when the movement in a given series or time series is distorted or truncated unexpectedly. All right. This concept this concept of social break was popularized by David Hendry. After he had argued The lack of stability, the lack of stability of coefficients after 
he had argued that lack of stability of coefficients always or frequently always cause or breed for cut error. All right. So okay. So now now having experienced this or noticed this in a particular series, okay, so then the problem is how do we know when there is a break, you know, in 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 a model, that right? there is a, a sharp shift in a model. How do we identify, how do we detect if there is a what? A structural break in a time series. Okay. So let's take that as a question. Now we say, how do we identify if there is a structural break in in a particular or, or give it model or series so the question now is how do we identify if there is a structural break in a given series because now we have said that normally more well sometimes okay that a time series okay May, may, may have a social break, okay? So, how do we now notice this? How do we know this, okay? And the, first of all, you have to what, identify if there is a break in the, or social break in this series. Having identified such, if actually such a model can be what estimated, okay? But in this tutorial, I am gonna concentrate only on how we can what, identify, okay? The existence of what a structural break in a particular series using a view, but we're gonna we are going to do that just theoretically, okay, and not practically. So please just get steps, okay, on how we can just do such. All right. So now we just say we can detect. We can detect. Structural break <clears throat> using what child test, okay? Um, okay, now I'll say, let's say, let's say, uh, what I wrote initially is okay, but let me write it this way, okay? Let's say, to check, to check if there is, or there exists, if there is a structural break if there is a structural break in a given time series we make use of the use of the child test Okay, all right. Now we said that, that for us to be able to identify if there is a break, okay, a structural break in a given time series, okay, we employ the child test, okay. Now, this child test can be done manually, okay, and also we can use some statistical packages like what, Stara, EVU, ETC, okay, to still do the child test, okay. So I'm going to teach us here the, the the steps, okay, the theoretical steps, okay, that 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 are involved, okay, we're using the child test, okay, in an e view. All right, so. But note, MB. We can detect. We can detect structural break. exogenously if the date of the breakpoint is known or when the 
when the break date is known. Okay. All right, so we said that we can detect structural break, okay, exogenously when the break date is known or when the date of the break point, the break is what's known. Okay. And again, and again, endogenously, even though or even if the break date is unknown. Okay, so now we we now take this okay these steps okay so let's see how do we detect the existence of a structural break in a series using the test of child, this child test, using child test in a view. Okay, so now how do we detect or identify the existence of a structural break in a series using what child test in a view? So, like I said formally, I am going to show all the steps. Well, the five steps, okay, involved, okay, when using or doing the child test in a view, okay, using the a view econometric package, okay. So, but this is what I'm going to do, showing you or show, showing us all the what the test involved, okay. So, but I'll say first, we plot. First, we plot the graph of the given series. We plot the graph of the geometry of the particular of the given time series so as to ascertain in order to ascertain the break date in order to ascertain where the sharp sudden sh shift occurs in order to ascertain where the sharp shift occurs in the trend of the series. Okay, that is to identify that is to identify where the breakpoints are called, where the breakpoints are called. So we say the first stop, okay, doing child test in A view is first, we plot the graph of the given series, okay? So as to ascertain or in order to ascertain where the sharp shift occurred in the trend of the series. That is to identify where the breakpoints occurred. From there, we cannot trace and know the date, okay? And know the date where we have the sharp was shift, okay, in the trend of the day series. Again, like second, 
second, we could have done the cosine square here, okay? I mean, we could have plotted this cosine square here, okay, to still know if the if the if, if the cosine plus actually digresses from the five percent significance was boundary, okay. But let let's put that as our last step. Step, okay. So um, second, we run our initial regression. In, we run our what initial regression. That's our second step using our OLS estimator using using our notable ordinary least square estimator. First stop. All right. So so having done our first stage, okay, we are now. We have now run our what second what regression, okay? Sorry, we have just done our initial regression, which stands our as our first re regression using the, what the experiment method called what OLS. So, um, third, third, third stop, third, we perform. The we perform the child test. We perform the child test that is child breakpoint test. Okay, child test or child breakpoint test by Plugging so by plugging or imputing by plugging, okay, by inputting by plugging or inputting uh, the break date, the break date in the Estimation. Full stop. Okay. So that is our third stop. We will perform a child test in our e view by what substituting or, or imputing the break date in our what estimation. Okay. So um, we, we we know that our break date is known from the first step where we plot what the graph of the the graph of what the um series okay involved please this is a mistake typical error child test okay not cheat test child test all right so we go to our, our fourth our fourth step okay fourth we check you know we, we observe the value of the f statistic okay we check the value we check the value of our F statistics. Okay. All right. Um, this this F statistic. This F starts. Tells us that well, this F star tells us whether whether a break exists in a series or not exists in a. This F statistics tells us whether a series. Sorry, a break exists in a series or not. Okay. First stop. Now we have to know 
actually, okay, how we can assess what the value of the F, what statistics, okay, to, to know if we can say that there is a structural break, okay, or that there is a break point, okay, in the service, or that there is no break point in the service, okay. So now, you say that if, if the F starts, is statistically significant is statistically significant okay then the null hypothesis then the null hypothesis of no breakpoints no breakpoint is rejected okay say so that if the f starts is significant then the ho that is h sub zero which we call our null hypothesis okay of no breakpoint is what rejected okay this implies this implies that there is a structural break in the series that there is a structural break in the series all right, so what I'm trying to say here is that if the F start is significant, then we have to reject the HO. And the HO says that there's no effect, okay, between the relationship, okay, of the model, okay, and when there's no effect, okay, so in this case of what social break, we say that there is no break point in the what series, okay, so we have to what reject the what not hypothesis, okay, and uh, accept the alternative what hypothesis that there is what a breakpoint in the series. So in this case, if the F start is significant, then the HO of no breakpoint is what rejected. This implies that there is a structural break in this series. It means that we, are, we have now accepted our word H sub A, that is the alternative word hypothesis. Okay. Again, again, if the F starts, if the F starts is not significant, significant, then then the null hypothesis of the existence of a breakpoint is accepted then then okay okay sorry please i said that again if the f start is not significant then the null hypothesis of no breakpoints is accepted other than being what rejected okay so in this case we are we have said that um, suppose the f statistic okay is not significant then we have to what accept our null hypothesis okay of no break point okay so that is um if the f star is not significant then the h of no break point is what accepted okay so that is our first step. So the the last step, okay, well the fifth step. Fifth, okay. Fifth, we have to plot. We plot the cumulative sum square graph. Okay, we we plot the cumulative sum square. Okay. All right, we say we plot.
sorry for this typographical error here. Oh, it's of k. Okay, we plot the cumulative that is a custom square. Okay, cumulative sum square. Sum square. Okay, cumulative sum square. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. All right, so we said that this fifth, we plot the cumulative sum square, okay? And uh, observe if the custom plot, if the custom plot, uh, well, let me write this, you know, in capital letter. Okay, let me check the, and observe is the, if the custom, Okay. If the custom plot um, digresses or deviates from the five percent, or deviates from the five percent, um. Yes, okay, so we said that fifth, we plot the custom square and observe if if the custom sorry, if the custom plots digresses from the five percent, okay, um significant boundary, okay. Significant boundary, all right. Significant boundary, okay. All right, so um, this is our last step, okay. So this is, th these steps, okay, involve or uh, is this when we want to test, okay, using child test, okay, if there is this, a breakpoint in a given service, okay. After this, we can now know if we can do the estimation. Of course, we can suppose a service is um, has a structural break. We can see what estimates such a series, a series, okay. But this will be will, will be done or shown in the next program, okay. All right. Hope this helps. Hope this helps. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay, with the name Marcus's Academy. Okay, please subscribe to, to my YouTube channel with the name Marcus's Academy, okay? Marcus's Academy. Okay, please. This is my YouTube what channel name. Okay. Wow. Bye. Makasi Chinedu. Thank you so much.